Hi guys, it's Jan. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this is probably going to be the quickest video I'm ever going to make because I have to run out in like 15 minutes. I'm probably not going to upload this right away, but I'd like to get filmed right away because I don't know how long I'm going to be gone. So this is my March beauty favorites. I hope you guys are doing really well. Uh, we're doing great here. Updates on the kids are fine. I get a lot of messages about that. They love their new school, so it was a great decision. Um, the beauty room tour I want to do soon. I know a couple people have asked me about that, but I just want to fix it couple things. Updates on my hair. I took out the extensions. They drove me crazy. I wanted to see where the growth was at. Very happy with it and it feels great to have the extensions out right now so they're going to stay out for a little bit. And what else? There was another update. Oh my lighting. I'm back in front of my natural window, a uh, natural uh, light from my window um, because I'm desperate to film over by my makeup table but I am working with artificial lighting and I know my last two videos looked like I had a really bad tan so I am um, going to just stay here until I can figure out lighting over there and I think you guys have seen parts of my room now and when I do the beauty room tour you'll get to see everything but over here is my wardrobe and I have another little table over there and then over here is really my makeup table and my vanity mirror and it just you know it's, it really came out really great and I'm anxious to show you guys so I think that's it for my updates so let's just jump right in I'm gonna be kind of quick I don't think anyone likes really long long videos like I tend to make sometimes anyway let's discuss my first non-beauty and my only non-beauty um, favorite for this month it's a candle from Target I love Target candles I love Target anyway I'm always at Target but the sweet sponge sugar scent is my favorite I got this on sale for eight dollars they're normally ten and it is just a wonderful scent it's actually a dupe for the raspberry peach macaroon from Bath and Body Works of which I have my last one and I refuse to burn it because it's the big size one and it just really makes the room feel fragrant. I find with the Bath and Body Works candles they tend to burn pretty fast anyway and I don't know if they have the raspberry peach macaroon anymore in the larger candle size. I think it just may be the smaller ones and I'd hate to burn it and not be able to get that again but I could be wrong. Last time I checked they didn't have it. Um, so that's my first non-beauty favorite and I well my only like I said and I've been completely loving it I always have a candle burning in here okay two hair care products I already showed this in a haul it's the Parma's olive oil formula spray I got this for the itchiness that the braids gave me when my hair had the extensions but since the extensions are out which was a great story by the way my daughter helped me one night and because um, she knew I couldn't see the back of my hair and long story short it was just a great great night for me because she was really kind of there for me like a girlfriend would be there. Um, she knew I was desperate to get them out and she was like, I can do it. I see the threads. I'm not going to cut your braids. Let me help you. And she was wonderful and she just started taking out the extensions. So it was a really great night for me and her. But anyway, so I was using this olive oil spray to help alleviate the itchiness with the extensions. And um, I, I've been really using it nonstop actually. Now it's on, I use it on the hair shaft and particularly on the ends, and it's just a really wonderful conditioning spray for my hair. So I've been loving that. Another thing I've been loving has been the Batiste dry shampoo um, in the dark um, uh, hint of color type. <laughs> totally lost my train of thought there. And I love this because I can buy it sometime. Let me get a little more light here. I can bide um, some time before going to the salon or running out and getting a box color and doing it myself. So if I'm feeling lazy, you know, for a day or so, I just spray this in my hair and I cover new growth and it's really good. It volumizes, it takes away the oils, you know, all that stuff with dry shampoo. Honestly, I don't ever see not ever having a dry shampoo. I think it's just so important because you know no one really wants to be stuck there doing their hair forever especially now with the summer coming up and drying your hair and it's hot and humidity that's a pain in the neck so you can just put some dry shampoo and put your hair in a bun and just go for like maybe two three days maybe <laughs> but anyway so love my dry shampoo I, I use it a lot actually okay um Rimmel Scandalized Pencils. Some of the best pencils out there. Rimmel's one of the best brands out there. But I love the one in silver. I have it on today. You can see it in my inner tear duct, hopefully. And hopefully it doesn't look orange or gold. It is silver. It's my favorite one out of all of them. And I think I have pretty much all of them. And I love that it just gives me this bright um, pop of like light in the inner 
tear duct area. It just looks really, really good, I think, on me. It's just unexpected, but it's not overly done at the same time. It's fun. I love to put this on my waterline, and it stays, and it just looks like a beautiful shimmer on the waterline all day long. I just love this. I can't recommend these pencils enough. I have been loving for the month of March my Hourglass Ambient Blush and who would have thought because I wasn't really particularly over thrilled with the um, setting powders but I picked up Diffused Heat and this color is gorgeous. It's what I have on today. It gives me that highlight. I think I actually do have another highlight on top of it but if you don't have a highlight on top of it this is just a very beautifully blended brilliant idea by Hourglass to take their um, ambient powders and to blend them with the brush. Now I love it. Um, so this is in diffused heat if I didn't tell you and it is just absolutely such a wonderful blush. So I've been using this non-stop and I actually love it in conjunction with Max Dainty. I think it's just a nice combination. Another um, high-end product that I've been loving is my Chanel Le Beige. I, I have to be honest, admittedly, um, when I first had seen Lisa Eldridge's video on this, I was like, oh, the packaging is beautiful. I love it. I mean, I love classic black packaging, but then the classic white was just like, I have to, you know, check this out in person. And then it turns out it's just got a great, great product as well. So these are the Le Beige setting powders, um, the Healthy Glow Sheer Color Powders, rather. And I'm in the shade number 10, and and I love this color. Hopefully you can see it. It is just absolutely beautiful. It really does just give a beautiful soft sheen and tone to my skin. Absolutely love this. I have it on today all over. I used it as a final touch after the ambient powder, after highlight. I just went all over it. And to me, it just made everything seem softer, but more... Um, more, I don't know, I don't want to say toned down, this is a bright blush, but just seemed softer and more neutral in a way. It just really toned everything down, I guess is the best way to describe it, but love this, and I've been loving it. Um, a concealer, and I, I really love this too, and I've used it in several different ways. It's the CoverGirl Plus Olay Eye Rehab Brightening Concealer. I don't find this conceals as much as it brightens. I've used this as a foundation, even though I have the full-size foundation. I think this is so great. I love the fact that it just melts into my skin or it melts on top of foundation. I use this in a variety of ways, under foundation, on top of foundation, or just as a foundation, and it really has a wonderful luminous effect. If you're oily, you may not like this, but if you have dry skin, more mature skin, you may really, really love this. I love the foundation too, but I love using this um, under my eyes or sometimes all over my face, like I said, but if I'm just using it as a concealer one day for under my eyes, I do follow up with a little bit more heavy coverage concealer, and what I've been loving and what I think it needs is my clay de peau, first of all. I finally can say I really really like this and I it took me a while maybe the better part of two years when I did that review a couple years ago where I think I was yellow in that video too um, bad lighting that night too this is very pricey it's a $70 product and um, I really didn't want to have it just sit there and know that it was you know a $70 product that wasn't getting any use so I think what happened was I think I got a drier one and I think just constantly using it just determined to use it not waste $70 I think I reached a point where it started to really do what it was supposed to do it really does brighten I think I've always said it brightens but it really was a creamier product as opposed to a drier chalkier product and I think I probably ended up with a product that was probably a little bit on the shelf a little too long so its shelf life was probably on the you know the um, the downside but I think that it's at a point now where I can use it on its own and not use it in conjunction with this which I have been so I was using this first and then following up with this for more coverage and it's a beautiful combination but I think I'm at the point now where it's creamy enough where I can use it on its own um, and I'm really glad because Clay de Peau is a really great great brand I love Clay de Peau I've used a lot of their products but this one I, you know just was on the fence about for a while until I really just worked my way through it so really happy about that and I really recommend this too. I recommend everything here but that's $70 to clay to post so that's you know up to each individual. So the last 
is a lip combination. I discovered this, and this was only maybe about a week ago, so it's not like new to my monthly favorites, not like from the beginning of the month towards the end, but um, I'm still going to mention it anyway. I love the Milani lipsticks. You guys know that I have quite a collection of them, but this one I hadn't seen before. It's number 39 Sugar Glaze. It's what I have on right now, and it has a beautiful kind of frosted effect. This is like quickly becoming one of my favorite lipsticks, um, and I wish I had, you know, um, seen this sooner, but it's just so pretty. It's a very light rose gold kind of look, and it is so, so, so pretty. And I'm using it with, and I think this is Spice, it's the Milani 09, what is this? Um, I think I want to say Spice, but I can have, yeah, Spice. It's the Milani 09 is the number, Spice Lip Liner, and that is what I have on today and I completely love this lip combo so new lip combo guys I know I used to love my lip combo videos and I haven't done them regularly like in forever uh, and I probably want to start doing those soon but this is just a good jumping off point for you guys in case you're interested in inexpensive products and something if you like my color combinations this is so so pretty I love it I love the frostiness um, you know that this lets off a little bit okay and I think that's it so um, real quick on my face I have the um, Tarte Be Magnificent eyeshadow palette I have the Red Cherry 523 lashes the Rimmel Scandalize pencil the diffused light along with Max Dainty the healthy sheer glow La Beige powder um, Eyeliner today is, I think, that Sumita uh, Black Coal Pencil I got in the um, Glossy Box. I just showed you the lip combo. And my highlight today is Max Too Chic. And um, jewelry today is my antique watch I got on eBay a couple of years ago. It's like a man's watch, and I love it. My wedding set, my bangles I usually always wear, my Henry Bendel, my Cartier Love, my David Smalcom, um, earrings from Target, just kind of fun earrings. I'll do a quick outfit of the day, although I wasn't expecting to. <laughs> um, the um, shirt is from Target as well. It's from Converse. It's a really great... Uh, black cotton button-down shirt. I love it. AG jeans and my chair is here So I have to figure out how I'm doing outfit of the days, but I'm wearing hunters Which there you go. You see they're hunters because it's raining in New York today and my nail polish I'll put down below. I forget the name of it It's kind of unusual right for me to wear a lilac, but I do love it and it is um, a Sally Hansen lilac color uh, I do really like it, but it's neutral enough with black, but if I were to wear something more colorful, I'm going to instantly hate it because I hate my nail polish and my clothes to clash. But um, that, I guess, is it, guys. So I hope to come back this weekend and do another video, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Welcome to new subscribers. I love um, all of my subscribers on here. Thank you for all your sweet comments and all your wonderful um, thoughts, you know, that you send my way. Thank you so much. Have a great start to your weekend, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys.